Shane's Privateer FX. Coming at you last day of November. Boy, 2018 has really flown by. We got month end uh, bullshit today at 4 p.m. or at 5 p.m., so be careful of that. Um, our focus here is Euro Yen. We got this sort of series of highs now between 22 and 25. This is the hourlies. Here's the four hourlies. Uh, we got to clear these highs. I guess 28.4 was the high overnight. Once we clear these things, this thing has some room to run. Uh, although equities have come off 10 handles from the 54 highs, equities look pretty solid. And if we can get through 30 in Euro Yen, we like this thing higher. Of course, uh, this is all going to depend on how Trump and or how the USA and China decide this trade dispute. If this goes sideways or negative, obviously Euro Yen, there will be downward pressure. If it goes positive, uh, this will be the catalyst for upward pressure. Elsewhere, uh, we're core short dollar CAD. This is a combination of weaker dollar and oil higher. We're trading this as a short position. We don't see any acceleration points or any troubling uh, liquidity areas. Your focus has to be on this upward sloping trend line, which basically defines the trend for the last year. So, from 128 to here. So, we do think this may break, might even break today, but selling high ones in dollar CAD makes sense. So, you can even sell around here, sell some 15, uh, and you really want to kick this uh, stop out above, above 28. 33.28. Crude, very important day yesterday. Boy, we fucking nailed the bottom there. Damn. But of course, because we nailed it and we thought it might go a little bit further, we had a tiny position on, which is annoying. But it's always fun to, to nail a turn like that. This now looks to me like it's set to go higher. We stopped out some week longs through 50 bucks, charged all the way up to 52.30. Now we're fucking around 51.50. Uh, but this thing is going to go higher, and this is now a break trade, this 52.58. Obviously, OPEC meetings are coming up, and you got to keep your eyes on the newswire. But um, this looks set to turn. Really smacks. My intuition says this. Uh, this is turning. Confirmation of the turn is 52.70. What else is out there? We're short. Um, we're short the long end here of the curve. You know, we're long yield, short, short bonds. We're going to add to this if we get below 139.16, and we're really seriously thinking about shorting boons, but we just we don't know where to get in. It's not super clear, uh, but boons are getting a bit stretched, and it's getting about time to try and sell some boons. So maybe, maybe you get short a high one, 160, 180, 162. Um, this is on the radar today. So a few things we're looking at: euro yen on the currency side. We'll be getting long on prices through 30. No reason to buy low ones on this because it's it's quite binary. If if things turn sour, this is just going to go south, right? So the euro yen has to be combined with positive story. Dollar CAD, on the other hand, we're just short. Uh, core short dollar CAD, trading in and out of a core position to keep the average on the other part better and better. And then on the bond side, we're, we're getting short fixed income on the price, uh, both in U.S. and we're looking to sell boons on high ones. All right, that's about it. Just make sure your headlines are up. Let's keep uh, abreast on what's going on at the G20, and um, I will uh, talk to you guys on Monday. Ciao.